The one thing I say in this channel is never, never pay for ass. Especially when you can get it for free using a VPN like Winscribe VPN. Not a sponsor, uh, but a very good product. I like it. We never pay for ass. So when I downloaded the first episode, I started watching it. I was lost. And I wondered, did I down did I did I download the, the second one? Because I don't know what's going on. And uh when I started seeing the second one, like I stopped it and I played the second one, and I was more lost than the second one. And then I was like, well, this has to be the first one, I guess. Maybe, maybe there's an intro that I missed or something. I, I don't know. I, I fall I fucking saw the first episode. I was fucking lost. And before I went to go see the second episode, I decided, let me go see one of these nerds online. Maybe they can explain it. Because I don't know what's going on. Like, why am I lost? Apparently, and I missed this. I don't know how. I must have been high or drunk. I don't know. You know me. I got ADD. But apparently, there is a six month jump between the ending of the first season and the beginning of this fucking episode of the second season. And I was just like, what? What? Why? The way the last one ended was. Master Chief gets completely take over by Cortana. So he's no longer there and he's a robot now. And fucking McKee died and all these implications like Halsey fucking escaped by using the clone and she's on the run and all this ass. Like the Halo ring, they ended showing the Halo ring and all this shit. This starts six months later. Cortana is not even inside of Master Chief. All the guys don't have the pellets anymore. They don't, they don't trust them. All of this shit just dropped on you out of nowhere. And this was all the decision of the showrunners, the new ones, the new guys who said, let me change. This is, do you know what this is? This is JJ Abrams doing The Force Awakens and then Ryan Johnson coming in and fucking it up in the second one. This is exactly what is happening here. And this is bad. Because for someone who, number one, I didn't think the first season was perfect. I didn't at all. There was shit that I would have just completely cut out, but I was still invested in it. And I come into this and I hate it because all of a sudden you're not even focusing on the halo ring. You're not focusing on the visions in the past and the fucking lore of the ancient shit. All of a sudden it's Master Chief and Master Chief, they don't know if he's, if he's still the Master Chief or if he's corrupt. Or defective and that's what the story is is the government doesn't trust him and they think he's defective and I'm just like what the fuck the story was about the the halo ring finding it the mystery about the lore it completely changed it and it threw me off as the person who's watching it, it threw me the fuck off and I didn't like it um the second uh oh I'll keep going. These are all three episodes combined, you know, whatever the fuck. Uh, there. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.